Heat exchanger espresso machines are loved by home baristas and cafe owners alike for their combination of simplicity, power, and cost effectiveness. Over the past few years, more manufacturers have been upgrading their heat exchanger models with the addition of a PID. Many are familiar with the function of a PID on a machine with a dedicated brew boiler. They allow for precise, direct control over brew temperature. On a heat exchanger, it's a bit of a different story. Because HX machines heat water for brewing by passing it through a tube within the steam boiler, you aren't able to directly control brew temperature. Instead, the PID on machines like the Provotec Pro 500 is solely controlling the temperature of the steam boiler. When compared to the thermostat-based temperature control mechanisms on more traditional HX machines, this constitutes a substantial upgrade. Not only will steam boiler temperature, and therefore pressure, be more consistent, but controlling it means that you can modulate steam power. If you prefer large milk drinks, you can bump up the temperature to steam milk even faster. If you prefer small cortados or cappuccinos, reducing steam power will help keep that milk in the pitcher and give you a bit more control. When it comes to brew temperature, the relationship between steam boiler temp and brew temp is a bit less direct. Because the water headed to the group head is only in contact with the heat exchanger mechanism for a brief period of time, a large variation in steam boiler temperature only results in a small variation in the temperature of water leaving the group head. In order to quantify this difference, we did tests using a SCASE device. This simulates the flow rate of a shot of espresso and has a temp probe in the middle, allowing for precise simulation and measurement of brew temperature over the duration of a shot. As a baseline, we used the ECM Mechanica V Slim, which uses a thermostat to maintain steam boiler temperature. We compared this to the Pro 500 PID, with its steam boiler set to 250, 255, 258, and 262 degrees Fahrenheit to get a clear picture of how much control over brew temperature you can get. With each, we started with a 7 second cooling flush, followed by three 30 second shots with one minute resting periods between them, taking the temperature every five seconds. Our findings show that while the relationship between steam temperature and brew temp isn't linear, it's certainly close. While both machines are quite temperature stable after a cooling flush, the Pro 500 PID gives you the ability to control brew temperature in a way that non-PID heat exchangers just don't. Being able to target consistent brew temperatures anywhere between 195 and 203 degrees Fahrenheit is super powerful. The ability to get temperature control nearing that of a true PID brew boiler is, in our eyes, well worth the price. If this video answered your questions about PIDs on heat exchanger machines, be sure to hit the like button. If it didn't, or if you have any other questions, I'd be glad to field them in the comments below. For more coffee knowledge, tap subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.